held a mega road show in Delhi ahead of a key national executive meeting of the BJP in the capital city. The Prime Minister was accompanied by 35 union ministers, 12 chief, chief ministers and 37 regional heads. The road show started from Patel Chowk and continued till the NDMC Convention Centre. The two-day national executive meeting will be used to draw out a strategy for the nine election-bound states uh, for this year and also for the Lok Sabha elections that is scheduled for next year. Moreover, BJP President J.P. Nadda's three-year term as the national president ends this month, so that could be well on the agenda as well. Well, in so far as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, the party has laid out its roadmap for 2024 in its national executive meeting. Ravi Shankar Prasad highlighted the importance of the assembly elections that will take place in nine states and also emphasized on the importance of winning all of these nine states in the run-up to 2024 elections. All the member of the national executive to be ready with full commitment to ensure that the BJP wins all the nine assembly polls scheduled for 2023 as a prelude to 2024 Lok Sabha elections. We have not to lose, we have not to lose any state. This particular meeting is very important given the fact that how a massive roadshow was being held by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it was a welcome ceremony for PM Modi after a thumping majority win in Gujarat. Now in this particular national executive, just for the, uh, uh, just for the details, uh, uh, I would like to say that in this particular meeting, the roadmap for the BJP in 2023 uh, uh, assembly elections and 2024 uh, general elections would be chalked out. Now, just after the inaugural address, what we are getting to know is that uh, four of the states, Mizoram, uh, Karnataka, Rajasthan and Telangana, their state leaders have presented a report uh, before uh, JP Nadda that what exactly would be the strategy of the BJP in those assembly elections.